Okay. <laughs> saying, I've seen the CCTV surveillance footage. <laughs> okay. Oh, Vikram, I already started that question. I will get. I will get to that. Okay, more live chat questions. Uh, Sparsha is saying, do you think Prophet Muhammad was mentally unstable? Um, which Prophet Muhammad? The historical figure or the character according to Islam? Because the historical figure, we don't know much about. We don't even know if his name if his name was Muhammad. We know that Arabs united under the leadership of a man with either the name or the label or the title Muhammad. Okay? So that's how little we know about whoever that dude was. He wasn't even Muslim. That's that's how Muhammad, the historical Muhammad, was not even Muslim. That's how different Muhammad is from the character of Muhammad, okay? So the character of Muhammad, as described by Muslims, yeah, he was unstable. He, he, um, there's, but again, we're not talking about a real character, so... Yeah, he seemed pretty, like, the way that he's described makes him mentally unstable. But, again, what does mentally unstable mean? I mean, is is that like a... I mean, I'm not trying to say he was mentally ill. You don't have to be mentally ill to be mentally unstable. I don't know enough about recognition of mental illnesses to be able to diagnose a fictional character because is i don't know is voldemort mentally i mean i'm not even i'm not even able to recognize mental illness in a real character let alone a, a fictional character which will have different patterns because writers are not going to be as good especially ancient writers at creating a character that is going to be consistent with his mental decision with his with his or her decision making process right so when you create a fictional character that does so many different things you might think like oh my oh my god this person is diff uh, so mentally unstable it does so many different things well when it comes to mental illness it's impossible to diagnose a person because it's a it's it's not going to have anything any consistency that you would suspect from a real character but when it comes to mental stability most fictional characters especially the people who are the center of the stories are going to be on more unstable than average people in real life because that's how you create because either because either you're trying to create excitement with the story so you need some lack of stability you need to have a roller coaster in your story or because the writers of your story especially if it's a religion are multiple people. So think about if you have many, many different writers contributing to what eventually becomes the story of Islam, how could you not have unstable characters, different people with different mental uh, mentalities wrote what Muhammad ended up being? So how could Muhammad not end up being mentally a mentally unstable character? Sergo so saying, was the character Muhammad even Muslim? Yeah, yeah. Based on the definition of a Muslim, you could say the character of Muhammad was Muslim. But the historical Muhammad exists uh, existed at a time that Islam was not even a religion. So there you go. And the word Muslim was not even the word that was used.
to refer to the people who were followers of this cult at that time. They were referred to as the Mu'minun. I know the word Muslim is mentioned in the Quran, but it's mentioned in a way that does it's not you is it's not the same way that we use the word Muslim today. Yes, exactly. So uh, you're saying Bukhari, Sahih Bukhari, and Sahih Muslim. These are the two main texts, and also the uh, the um, the the Sira of Muhammad, the stories along with Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslims are the most the main sources of what we know about Muhammad and they're not yeah and they're extremely biased exactly and the level of detail of what we know about Muhammad based on these sources makes it pretty obvious that they are fake stories because there's just too much detail and enough detail to know that they're made up right like we don't know if Napoleon what ring was he wearing when he lifted that cup when he was talking to the people to his generals right um but we know that about muhammad like we know like so much detail that is unrealistic about a historical figure especially at a time at, at the location that he lived surrounded by people that mostly didn't know how to re read and write and they were not recording every action that he was taking, like to that level of detail. The, the, a lot of Muslims assume that the high level of detail about Muhammad's story makes it seem like it must be true, but it's actually the opposite. The more details that you have, the more it indicates that these are made up because it's, it's impossible to have that much level of detail. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.